you go with your wisdom. Thank you for being a blessing to us this morning. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will sustain you. It is a great pleasure to declare open Power Exposition 2023. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bubu aye jeje suga angeli e wo lefu e mu ade obarewa e she loba awo bubu aye o this morning, the Lord of Lords, the God who dwells in Shekinah glory, the Almighty, the one whose name is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. Let's worship him, let's adore him. It's worthy to be praised. It's worthy to be worshipped. It's worthy to be magnified. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. His name is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. His name is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. The Jehovah Sukenu, the Lord our righteousness. His name is Jehovah Shema. Oh, the Lord, our peace. Yaska, keke se kera bobo. Uriya keke se kera dede se kera baba. Heavenly Father, we worship you. King of kings, we worship you. Eternal rock of ages, we say be thou exalted above the earth. Truly, there is none like unto thee. Among the gods, there is none. You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, always doing wonders. From the rising of the sun, to the going down of the same, your name alone shall be praised. This morning, Lord, do that which you have planned to do before the foundation of the world. Heal the sick, set the captives free, save soul, restore destinies, fight our battles, silence tongues. Let everybody go home rejoicing. In Jesus' name, we have worship. And the saints of God say a powerful one prayer before we go into the world. Psalm 138, verse 8. Psalm 138, verse 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. Lift up your right hand to heaven and say, My Father and my God, in thy name of Jesus, perfect that which concerneth me. Lord, show me your mercy. Don't ever forsake me. Prayers. Yaska ke ke se kera de de. Uda bobo se ke rika baba ka ka se kera baba. Father in the name of Jesus. Perfect that which concerneth me. Lord show me your mercy. Father I cry for your mercy. Every dimension of your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your great mercy. Your tender mercy. Your plenteous mercy. Your everlasting mercy. Your unfailing mercy. Father and the work of your hand. Don't ever forsake me. Perfect my earth. Perfect all that concerneth me. Father, perfect everything in our family. Perfect everything in this church. Visit up with your mercy throughout this week. Let grace and mercy sustain us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are not praying like Pentecostals.
So let's prayer up in two. The same prayer point. If your partner is not praying for you, well, leave him and go into another person. Say, my father, my God, this is my brother, this is my sister. Perfect all that concerneth him. Father, show him mercy. Every dimension of your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Father, do not forsake him. In the name of Jesus. Prayers. Pray. God answers prayer. He says, call unto me and I will answer thee. And show thee great mama thing that thou knowest not. Father, perfect that which concerneth us. As we cry unto you. Perfect our help. Our finances. Our career. Even immigration wise. All that pertinent to us. Father, perfect them. Perfect them. Let grace and mercy sustain us. Father, show us your mercy. Your mercy in every dimension of your mercy. Your great mercy. Your tender mercy. Oh, Father, your plenteous mercy. Your unfailing mercy. Oh, your everlasting mercy. Your abundant mercy. Father, do not forsake us. We are the work of your hands. Ya, 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 seke. Rika, baba. Osko. Keke, seke, radada. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want to pray for our daddy this morning. We said don't pray for him corporately like this. Not that we pray for him in our prayer bands. I want to say that God will fight with perfect all that concerning daddy and you know mommy Gio. God will show them mercy. And God will never forsake them. And by his grace they will end well. Let's say my father and my God. I saw the way you prayed for yourself. Let's say my father and my God. In the name of Jesus. We commit Pastor Adeboe, Pastor He Adeboe, Mommy Fulu Adeboe, into your hand. Lord, perfect that which concerns them. Show them your great mercy. Your mercy in every dimension. Father, do not forsake them. Lord, let them hand well. Prayers, Shaske, Mekese Kerababa, Uriake Kese Kerababa, Sunturake. Father, we pray for Pastor He Adeboe, Mommy Fulu Adeboe, Lord Father. Perfect that which concerned them. Perfect their head. Lord, Father, perfect everything that you concern them in every dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, show them your mercy. Your great mercy. Your abundant mercy. Your everlasting mercy. Your tender mercy. Your plenteous mercy. Father, show them your mercy. Father, show them your unfailing mercy. Your Father, your mercy in every dimension. Father, we cover them and their family with the blood of Jesus. Louis will be covering them. In the name of Jesus. Father, do not forsake them. Let them end well. They have worked for you. They will not lose their crown. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You tried, but the temple went down. Not the way you prayed for yourself. Now I want to pray for our continental overseer. Many of you don't even know him. His name is Pastor James Padel. I want to pray that God will perfect all that concerns him. God will perfect his head. God will fight his battles. God will show him mercy. God will not forsake him. Let's say, my father, my God, we pray for our CEO, the continental overseer, for the Americas, Pastor James Oladupo Fadel. Father, perfect that we concerneth him. Father, show him your mercy. Do not forsake him. Let him also end well. Prayers, the way you prayed for yourself. Pray sincerely. When you are praying, you close your eyes. You are not looking at me. You are focusing on God. Shaka, sekera bobo. Father, we pray for Pastor James Fadel. Lord, Father, perfect that which concerns him. Perfect his earth. Visit him with your mercy, with your great mercy, with your abundant mercy. Lord, Father, with your tender mercy. Lord, with your plenteous mercy, with your everlasting mercy, with your unfailing mercy. Lord, do not forsake him. Father, let him end well. Father, strengthen him physically. Strengthen him spiritually. Every cancel of the empathy, Father, we cancel. We nullify. Yaka, Sekera Bubu. Riake, Sekera Dede. Sheke, Sekerika Gagan. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. And the saints say, powerful Amen. And praise the name of the Lord. I will go straight into the word. Still standing. Please, we don't mind. Let's just read the Bible together. Then you can sit down and I promise you I will do the rest of the work. Is that fair enough? Good. John 11, 36 to 44. John 11, 36 to 44. Then said the Jews, behold how he loved him. 
And some of them said, could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? He just therefore again groaning in himself, coming to the grave. It was a cave, and the stone lay upon it. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Matter the system of him that was dead said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead for this. Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Someone, someone here today shall see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Then that thou will harass me always. But because of people which stand by, I said thee that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when they had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound and, and, and forth with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with his napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. The men of the Jews which came to Mary and that seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. Before I go into the world, I want to pray. Say, wherever the enemy have rolled the stone of my destiny, my destiny must come forth. <laughs> Let's say, my father and my God. We are river. The enemy might have rolled the stone of my destiny. I speak to you. My destiny. Come forth. Come forth. Come forth and shine again. Prayers. Father, we are wherever the enemy might have in any way. Roll the stone on my destiny. I decree. I roll away the stone. I say, My destiny come forth and shine again. My glory come forth and shine again. I shall not die before my time. My destiny will not be buried. My glory shall not be buried. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please be seated. Briefly, I was speaking on the God of miracles. Can we say it together? The story we read is the story of a man called Lazarus, the brother of Mary and, I don't know, Martha, who was sick. And they told the master that Lazarus was sick, but the master did not go there. The man was dead, not only there, but dead for four days. And the case looked hopeless. It was as if that is the hand of the man come, called Lazarus. Maybe you came here today, and you are at your lowest end. And you think that everything is hopeless. I've come to announce to you, you shall bounce back again. I said you shall bounce back again. Yeah. Briefly, we look at seven points. When we met this man, his case looked so hopeless that it seems as if he has reached the end of the road. He was dead for four days. So my first point, God can turn your situation around. Yeah. I don't know whether you have financial challenges, whether it's a problem. No matter what your situation is, my God shall turn your situation around. Lazarus was already dead and even stinking. But when he had a divine encounter with the master, God turned his situation around. God gave him a brand new kidney, brand new heart, brand new liver, brand new eyes, brand new brain. I see God turning things around for you. In Psalm 126, 1 to 3, Psalm 26, 1 to 3, it says, When the Lord turned again, the cattle of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the, the heathen, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are for, we are glad. I see God turning things around for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to laugh last. In the name of Jesus. My second point, because of time, God shall reverse the irreversible. In the case of Lazarus, Everything had packed up. The organs had packed up. But because he had a divine encounter with the master, God reversed the irreversible. In 2 Kings 6, 3 to 7, 
Second Kings 6, 3 to 7, we saw that the story of the servants of Elisha, who went to cut the beam and the axe head fell to the bottom of the river. In Second Kings 6, 3 to 7, and one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servant, and they answered, I will go. So he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down, they cut down the, the wood. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water. And they cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And they showed him the place. And they cut down the stick and cast it in the in, you know, in the thither, and the iron this way. Therefore said he, take it up to thee, and they put it, and they put out his hand and took it. I see God reversing the irreversible in your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything stolen by the power of darkness. I decree total restoration. That was a year. The devil is a bad devil. And the father-in-law is also bad. Many people had cancer in church. And notable people, not just, I mean, I said people, people that, you know, ministers, and uh, I didn't know what to do. So well, how will they say that three people died in church one year? Let's say, God forbid. So when I want to pray in my prayer room, I will just go there. The way God created me, I will, all kinds of prayer. At times I will lie down, I will stand up, and I will weep. And miraculously, God ate the three of them. <laughs> Clap for the Lord. I see God healing you this morning. Who is the healer? Can we shout that name? Jesus. One of them said that when he was going for chemo, we asked for those who are coming. Say, this one, they said, is dead. This one, she's dead. So she went to the husband and said, I should write my own will too. Because everybody is dying. All of, all of our colleagues, you won't have bad colleagues. <laughs> chemo colleagues. <laughs> they are all dead. Ah, I see God visiting you this morning. My God shall reverse the irreversible. My next point, your case is not hopeless with God. I said your case is not what? In Ecclesiastes 9, 4. He said, for to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. But then there is hope for every child of God. Beat your chest and say, there is hope for me. Maybe you are about to even be, you know, deported. God will turn your case around. Maybe they have told you that this is a terminal sickness. I see God turning your case around. Maybe they told you that you can't have a child again. I see God turning your case around. I've shared this testimony before, but for, but for those who are new, this is our pastor in Oregon. She got married at the age of 49. And the man who married her had never been married before. The man is not a widow, or, or she's not a, you know, widower. Uh, but the man was about 50 years old. And normally the way men think, don't mind men, no. they will say 49. They will analyze it. Can she have a child? But they will look for somebody who's younger. And somebody even younger may not even have a child. But this man said, this 49 old man, that is the one that I love, whether she will have a child or not. And that very year, she conceived naturally. And the following year, at the age of 50, she had twins. <laughs> Clap for the Lord. I said, your case is not hopeless. God that raised Lazarus from the dead is here today. He will bring something living out of everything dead in you. Your finances shall you know, receive life. Dead marriages shall also receive life. Dead wombs shall also receive life. Dead businesses shall also receive life. In the name of Jesus. If we say a powerful amen. There is no hopeless case with who? With Jesus. The fourth point, I tell you, I'll be very brief. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is what? The sister of Lazarus told the master, I said, don't worry about it. This case is hopeless. It can't live again. But once we come to church, we need to stretch our faith that we are here to meet God, whose name is El Shaddai, the all-sufficient God. The one who spoke the whole world into existence. He just said, let there be light, and there was light. He said, let there be lions, and lions just came out from, from nowhere. He said, let there be elephants, and they just appeared from nowhere. He just imagined what elephant is in his heart, and they just came out. That God is your God. 
I say, that God is your God. Today, stretch your faith for a divine encounter. In Luke 137, Luke 137, the Bible says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. I've had good news for you, your own shall not be impossible. Beat your chest and say, my own shall not be impossible. In Jeremiah 32, 17, Matthew 32, 17, it says, Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, and stretch out him, and there's nothing too hard for thee. There's nothing too hard for God. In Jeremiah 32, 27, again, it said, in case you didn't pick that, Matthew 2, 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Now, did you share this testimony with us? Of a woman that conceived and uh, she had twins and then the doctor now the uh, the other now said that darling we've had twins let's tie this your womb so that we won't have any child again and they found that the woman had no womb <laughs> and still she conceived and she had twins uh, your own shall not be too hard for god because our god specializes in impossibilities my next point Am I communicating this morning? With God, it is never too late. With God, what? In the story of Lazarus, it seems as if it was too late. Dead for four days, thinking the brain had packed up, the kidney, the liver, the heart, everything had packed up. But with one sentence from the master, Lazarus come forth. God gave him a brand new brain, a brand new kidney, a brand new heart. And that God is your God. I say that God is your God. I've told you the story before of how God gave me a brand new heart. But for those who are new, yes, maybe about 20 years ago or so, I went to do physical and they told me I had an enlarged heart that I would soon drop dead. So I went to my prayer room, just worshiping for about two hours. And God came in. In a, in a cloud of glory. And I don't know why I was hearing my heart cracking outside. Liars will not, will not enter hell. So I went to my own doctor, who happened to be a Jew, and I told him, Dr. Jesus, I'll give me a new heart. The man laughed, laughed, laughed. So he said, Pastor, you have come again. I said, run, you can run all the tests. He ran all the tests, stress tests, put me on the, on the you know, trade me, did everything that did, everything that you know, that you know they, 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 they actually needed to do. He said, Pastor, you have a brand new heart. I see God visiting you this morning. I said, I see God visiting you this morning. I was to have dropped it 20 years ago that they said they couldn't give me life insurance. Later, they, they now insured me. I won't have insurance on this church. If I drop dead, your church will, your church will get $1 million. That's very kind of me. I thought, I thought you were going to clap for me. But I'm not going to drop dead. I shall live till a good old age. You will still get your one million dollar. But not for use for the church. So the point is that with God, it is never what? Too late. Abraham was 100 years old. And Sarah was 90 years old. And when God visited them, Sarah laughed. He said, ah, ah, will I still have pleasure at myself being old? But God visited them in Genesis 21, 1 and 2. Genesis 21, 1 and 2. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham his son in his, old, in his old age, at the same time of which God had spoken to him. We are serving the over El Gibor, the mighty God. His name is El Shaddai, the all-sufficient God. And that God is your God. The God that raised up Lazarus from the dead after four days is your God. The God that put a new egg in Sarah's womb is your God. The God that revived the sperm of Abraham at the age of 100 years is your God. And even when Sarah died, Abraham got married again and still had five children. The man that the sperm was dead before, just one divine visitation with God changed everything. Stand on your feet. Let's pray. Lift up your hand to heaven. And say, my father and my God. Oh, pray with all your strength. Say, my father and my God. In the name of Jesus. If I'm going to visit one person today, visit me, oh Lord. Let that person be me.
Lord, visit me today. Father, visit me with your grace. Visit me with your mercy. Prayers. Abraham just had one divine visitation and things changed for him. Lord, visit me, visit me. Oh, let me change the prayer. Lord, visit all of us individually as a family. Father, visit us this morning. Yeah, 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 say Kerabo Boso Kodika Baba. Father, visit us, visit us with your grace and mercy. Let that be turn around with your divine visitation. Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, you that visited Abraham, visit me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, you have prayed. Maybe I should allow you to walk around. I've not finished some, but I want you to pray that prayer. Walk around and cry unto God. Say, My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, visit me, O oh Lord. With your mercy, with your grace, turn things around for me. Pray with all your strength. Yaka kasekera bobo, meke sekera gaga. Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, call his name. The one's name is El Shaddai, the all sufficient God. Visit me this morning. Maka sekera gogo sekera yaya, unto reke sekera baba. Visit me this morning with your grace and mercy. Visit me with your hand of power. Heal me, O Lord. Turn things around for me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please be seated. My next point. God can give you a new beginning. And can do a new thing. You know that Lazarus was dead and you know, stinking. In see his case was hopeless. But when the master called him forth, he had a new beginning. I see God giving you a new beginning. And God do new things in your life. In Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. He said, remember you know the former things. Neither, neither, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Can God lie? I decree by God shall do a new thing in your life. Now it shall spring forth, shall we not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God will put an end to every desert in your life. What is a new thing? A new thing is something that you have never experienced before. Maybe somebody who has never been married before, getting married. But who had never had a child before, having a child. But who has never bought a house before, buying a house. Somebody that has never even gotten his green card before, getting his green card. I come and I prophesy to every one of you. I said, my God shall do new things in your life. In the name of Jesus. My next point, which is the seventh point, you can have complete victory. Doesn't matter how the devil as mesmerized or messed up your life, you can still have complete victory. I say you can still have complete victory. Second Kings 5, 1. Naaman, the captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor. But he was a leper. That was an ether climax. He was what? A leper. The Bible said that Naaman was a noble man, but he had an ether climax in his life. He was a leper, but God had made him to obtain a lot of victory in his life, but still he was a leper. But there was this little girl in his house who will not keep quiet. In 2 Kings 5.14, he told him to go to Israel, and Naaman went. 2 Kings 5.14. And the, and the prophet Elijah says, you go and dip himself in Jordan. Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan according to the sin of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Naaman had complete victory. The man then became saved and said, he will, only, he, will, he will always serve the Lord. He had complete victory. In our text, the sister of Lazarus were quoting theology to the master. When the master said, oh, I will go and pray for him, he said, we know that he will rise on the resurrection day. The master told them, I'm the resurrection and the life. And that's the Lazarus rose 
I see God visiting you with his mercy. That things that are dead shall come alive. What are the conditions for our miracles? I'll just give you two or three, then we pray. One, you must believe. Let's say believe. The master told them that if they can believe, they will see the glory of God. Today, if you can believe also, you shall see the glory of God. The master told them in John eleven forty, he gave them one condition. Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee, that thou, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. I prophesy to you from my heart, you shall see the glory of God. If you can hold on to the word of God today and believe, you shall see the glory of God. In, in, in Mark 21, Matthew 21, 21 to 22, Jesus answered and said, unto very nice unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do the which is done to the, to the new fig tree, but also if you shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things, can we say all things? Can we say it loud and clear? Whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Can we say believing? Can we shout believing? Can we shout believing? What does it mean to actually believe? When you, play, when you pray about migraine, and you said you have believed, and you want to sleep, and the migraine comes back, what should you do? That is what we have not taught you. You have prayed and you believe that God has healed you. You have, actually, you have faith. Or when you believe, you had faith. And in the evening, you want to sleep. And then you are feeling the headache again. But still you have prayed and you believe. What should you do? Begin to thank him for your healing. Begin to do what? You begin to go into place and worship God. The enemy actually is coming to come and challenge your faith at that point in time. You have confessed it. You have believed it. You actually said God has healed you and you are healed. And then the enemy is now bringing back the same thing. Then you have to begin to thank him for your healing. Can the saints say amen? amen? What should I do for me to have miracles? Deal with the issue of sin. Deal with the issue of what? The greatest hindrance to your miracle is sin. Once you conquer sin, you have conquered everything. In Romans 6.23, Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. What brings death is sickness and it is gradual. And for living in sin, it means that one can die before his time. You shall not die before your time. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You have to resolve. Especially as we are going to power expression, a lot of miracles are going to happen. So let's, let's settle with the issue of sin this morning. In Acts 3.19, Acts 3, 19 says, Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Once you genuinely repent, God will blot out all your sins, and the time of you know, refreshing, healing, restoration will come. It's as if you have never sinned. It's as if you have what? Because he says in, your, in his word, once you repent of your sins, he says, your sins and iniquity will you remember no more. But repentance means that you are not going back to that sin again. Let's go to John 8, 10. John 8, 10. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those that accuse us? Had no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Can we say go and sin no more? The woman, the master said, okay. You were caught in adultery, but now you have met with me. I've forgiven you, but I'm giving you the golden rule. Go and sin no more. Sin will bring sickness. Sin will shorten the days of you know, somebody's life. Sin will not allow for anybody to have progress. So repentance means a change of heart that leads to a change of conduct. Remain of the choice that many people still live in the flesh. The greatest victory you can have in your life is the victory over sin. Once you can conquer the flesh and you are living a life of obedience, you're on your way to total victory. Can the saints say amen? 
The next thing is almost, it's almost like that. Live a life of obedience. Can we say that together? Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 26 says, and said, if thou will diligently, let's say diligently, hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and we do that which is right in his sight, and we give you to his commandments, and keep all his laws, I will put none of the things upon thee which are brought upon the Egyptians from the Lord that he left. So for your healing to be permanent, you must resolve to live a life of obedience, the way the master told the woman caught in adultery, go and sin no more. There's a man that had cancer who came to Apostle Wigglesworth. And uh, as he was about to be, to be prayed for, the Holy Spirit told him, he said, he stole a widow's money, $5,000. And that brought cancer. What happened was that the brother of the man died and he was the first one to get to the room of his brother. And he saw $5,000 in the room and the man took it. And the widow was suffering. The man has spent the $5,000 and that brought cancer. So the man of God told him, he said, there's no need for me to pray for you. Just go and return the poor widow's money and you shall be healed. And according to him in his book, the man went to return that money and the man was healed. Sin will bring sickness. Sin brings poverty. Sin brings delay. Sin, sin brings barrenness. Sin brings failure. Sin brings sudden death. The greatest victory you can have in life is the victory over the flesh and sin. Can the saints say amen? amen. I've told this the story of the man that was living in unforgiveness, but for, but for those who are new, that the Jews said the man had this unusual sickness. He was just swelling. So the man came to Daddy Jew. He said, pray for me. As he was about to pray for him, Daddy said, Daddy told him, you don't need any prayer. You are living in unforgiveness. And what happened? The man got married. The wife had a child, a beautiful daughter, and the woman died. And the man transferred the love to her daughter. The daughter got married to a man. You know, I've always told you about cantacorous women. There are also cantacorous men. <laughs> so the man will beat the daughter. So one day, the man took a gun and shot at her. But somehow, the bullet missed her. So the man went to the, the, the father went to the, the husband's house and then asked the daughter to come back to his house. So he said he will never forgive. He told you, we will settle it in heaven. So Jew told him, with all forgiveness, you can't, you can't even make heaven. So Jew pleaded with him. He went to see the son-in-law. According to Daddy Jew, as soon as the man went in and they embraced, that swelling went down instantly to the extent that the wedding ring he was wearing dropped off. What is it that you are holding against anybody? That is making you to suffer. Maybe somebody jilted you. Maybe it's, it's your stepmother that did something to you. And you are still holding on to it. Forgive him so that you can have victory. Can the saint say amen? amen. Ephesians 4, 27 to 30. See, talking about what we need to do for us to have total victory. Let's say total victory. Ephesians 4, 27 to 30. Not that give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may give, he may have to give to him that what needed. Let no communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying, and we must have grace unto the heirs. And grieve not the Holy Spirit, whereby he has sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all be tan. Can we say all bitterness? Don't be bitter against anybody, for God's sake, for your own sake. Let some wrath, is this some wrath? Can we say all wrath, all anger, all clamor, all evil speaking? What surprises me is that you speak evil about your friend. And what surprises me is that you speak evil about your pastor that is laboring for you in prayers when the man has not done anything against you. And the anointing you don't honor cannot deliver you. Can we say all evil speaking? 
Tell somebody, don't talk you way about your pastor again. The man is praying for you every day. Hallelujah. Can we teach the truth? Let all bitterness. Don't be bitter about anybody. Why are you, why are you bitter? All wrath, all anger, all clamor, all evil speaking be put away from you. With all malice. You have kept malice for the past three years. Drop it. Kilo day. Drop it. And be ye kind one to another. Tender hearted. Can we, can we do the next one? Let's say forgiving one another. Even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Many people have lost their grace and favor through corrupt communication. The anointing you do not respect cannot work for you. In life, offenses will come, but you must make up your mind to forgive. It says forgive. It means before the offense came, you have forgiven. I, I've told you the story of a man who told a lie against me. Serious lie. I came to this altar and I lied down, I prayed. And I had the unforgiving spirit in my heart. So I now go to my said, Mommy, this is what this person has done to me. And I know that I have unforgiveness in my heart. Mommy said, say it out. Say you forgive me about 100 times. By the time I, I said it out, the unforgiveness spirit left. Do yourself a favor. Drop unforgiveness. Drop malice. Drop bitterness. Drop anger. We have fasted, we have prayed miracles, we come throughout the week. Amen. Don't be an hindrance to that miracle. Can the saints say amen? amen? What should I do to get my miracle? Ask. Can we say ask? Those who have always received miracles, they always ask. Blind Bartimaeus asked. The Sadophonician woman asked. We can go on and on like that. In John 14, 14, as I ran off, John 14, 14, he says, if you shall ask anything, can we say anything? Can we shout anything in my name? I will do it. Can Jesus tell a lie? He said, if you can ask anything, don't say, ah, the problem has been with me for 10 years. So. He said, say anything. It's a blank check. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen? Hannah asked in 1 Samuel 1, 10 and 11, 1 Samuel 1, 10 and 11. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid and remember me, my God shall remember you this week. And not forget thy handmaid, but we give unto thy handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And that shall no result come upon his head. And Samuel came. Ah, your Samuel shall not die in your loins. Your summer shall manifest this week. Yeah. Brethren, as we are going to round off and begin to pray, if I hear you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the first step is you should invite Jesus into your heart and make him your Lord and personal Savior. It's only when you have done that that you can begin to ask. All eyes closed, if you don't mind, we are thanking him for the world. I begin to thank him for the world. You are here, you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says anyone that comes to him, he will no way cast out. The Bible says the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. You want to invite Jesus into your heart? Can you just raise up your hand and just wave it? You want to say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, save my soul. That today you want to cross from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Raise the hand above your head loud and clear. You want to say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. You want to invite Jesus into your heart. Don't be shy about it. You want to invite Jesus into your heart, any other person, and those online also, you can go to our website and fill out the form. You want to invite Jesus into your heart. The lady that you know received the card, can you please come? Let, let me pray with you. Let me just pray with you. you. Want to accept Jesus? Don't be shy about it. Come and declare, let heaven see you. The angels of God, they are rejoicing over you that today you are crossing from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of of his dear son. We want to come out. Come out. Let me pray with you. Let's clap for the Lord as she comes. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. He's always, always just the same. 
Oh, praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Let me just say after me and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Save my soul. I believe that you are the son of God. That you came and you died for my sins. And you rose for my justification. Forgive me all my sins. Write down my name in that precious book of life. In Jesus' name. I will pray for you now. Father, thank you for your daughter. She's now your daughter. She has accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior. Father, forgive her all her sins. Cleanse her. Father, give her a new beginning. Father, want to visit her. Give her at least a miracle. Write down her name in that precious book of life. Keep her to the hand that she will never go back. In Jesus' name. Follow this young lady. Follow that young lady. Let's, let's appreciate her as she goes. Can we rise? All hail is the power of Jesus' name. Let him just prostrate for Let him just prostrate for Before the royal dire Death and crying Crying, crying, crying Crying Stands up, pronounce it for us so that they can all sing with us. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let him just prostrate for Let him just prostrate for the the first dance I came. And he healed them and delivered them from their destruction. The word of God has come forth. As I was preaching, healing was taking place. Deliverance was taking place. He sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Let's thank him for his word. Let's just bless him. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. 
Let's give him all the adoration for his word. His word is himself. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we bear this glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So let's thank him for his word. Shaka sekera bobo. Sheke sheke rika bobo sokoria ya 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 ya. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We want to repent together as a church before we begin to pray. Let's say, I plead the blood of Jesus over my spirit, soul, and body. I repent of every works of the flesh. Father, forgive me. Forgive us corporately too as we begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray as pray as you can talk to God quietly about your own personal sin and ask God to forgive you and cleanse you and sanctify you so that our so that God will answer us as we pray. Shaka Sekera Bobo. Lord, we I plead on behalf of your children. Yeke Sekera Bobo Sokoria Gaga. De De Sekera Bobo Sokora Baba. I spoke with the blood of on every spirit, soul, and body for cleansing and sanctification. I plead for your mercy. I plead for your great mercy on their behalf. I plead for your abundant mercy. I plead for your tender mercy, your plenteous mercy, your unfailing mercy, your everlasting mercy. And say that forgive, O oh Lord, cleanse, O oh Lord, and sanctify. I begin to, to pray now. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now we want to pray. Just on the seven prayer points that I've just say, my father and my God. Well, I want you to print your sense. Say, my father and my God. I can't feel. Say, my father and my God. In the name of Jesus, turn every bad situation around for me. For the best. In the name of Jesus. Prayers. Yaga Gase Kera Bobo. Moko se kera de de se kera baba. That God will turn every bad situation around for the best. Whatsoever it is, mention it to God individually. Every bad situation, God will turn it. God will turn them around. Yeah, 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 say, Kera Baba. Father, I come to you on this holy altar. Mention your name to God. Father, I buy you, I do you, Kunum. Turn every bad situation, the ones I know and the ones that I don't know, turn them around for the best. Your word says that you turn the captivity of Nozayim. Lord, Father, fill my mouth with laughter again. Father, fill my tongue with singing. In the name of Jesus, turn around every bad situation. Father, intercede for your children that you turn around every bad situation. Father, to your glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Second prayer point. Say, my Father, my God, everything that seems irreversible, Father, today, Lord, Reverse them. You that brought Lazarus from the dead, the fourth day, everything, whether earthwise, financially, maritally, for my spouse, for my children, my womb, Father, reverse them. Prayers. Yaka kase kira bobo. Ese kira ya ya se kira dada. Everything that seems irreversible in my life, too. Father, reverse them in the life of my spouse and children. Father, reverse them. Father, intercede for these ones. Everything that seems irreversible. Father, reverse them to the glory of your name. Whether health-wise, financially, immigration-wise. Father, is it for their spouse, for their children? Father, whatsoever it is, you are the God that can reverse the irreversible. Father, reverse them. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, my father and my God. Oh, pray with your strength. Say, my father and my God. Everything that seems impossible, Lord, make them possible. Your word says, for with you, nothing shall be impossible. Prayers. Everything that seems impossible. Maybe they have written something of shake, 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 Oh, shake, shake, ya, 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 shake, baba. Maybe it's a court case. Oh, that you are almost losing. God, this is that court case. Everything that seems impossible, Father, make them possible. Yaka, ka, shake, baba. 
We stand on your word that say, for with you, nothing shall be impossible. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, give me a new beginning. You gave Lazarus a new beginning. Father, give me a new beginning. Father, do a new thing in my life. In the name of Jesus. Prayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, Kera Baba. Mention that new thing to God. Maybe you want to have a child. You want to get married. You want a what? I don't know whatsoever it is. That is a new thing. That God should give you a new beginning. Father, you gave Lazarus a new beginning. Father, give me a new beginning. A new beginning of joy. Breakthrough. Open heavens. Healing. Open doors. Lord, Father, give me a new beginning. Father, do a new thing in my life. Shon tum tum. La ye mi Jesu. Shon tum tum. La ye mi Jesu. Shon tum tum. La ye mi Jesu. Bobo a ye lo shati mami. Baba o shon tum tum. La ye mi Jesu. O shon tum tum. La ye mi Jesu. O shon tum tum. La ye mi Jesu. Bobo a ye lo shati mami. Yeah, that you don't understand the prayer. The way you are praying, you are praying so much so much prayer. Okay, walk around and pray with your strength. Say, my father, my God, in the name of Jesus, give me a new beginning. Do new things in my life. Visit me with your grace and mercy. Now pray Pentecostal prayers that God will do a new thing in your life. You can intercede for your children. You can intercede for your spouse. Father, give us new beginnings in our family. Yaka, sekera bobo. Sheke sekera de 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 de. Montoreke sekera baba. I intercede for these ones, oh Lord. Those who are here and those who are online. Father, give them a new beginning. Do a new thing. Those that need new organs, Father, give them new organs. Let grace and mercy prevail. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I've seen God give people new organs in this church. So you pray that prayer again. Maybe there's somebody that you know that needs a new organ. They were doing power question like this, and God said, What to give people new organs? And they came to the altar, and there was this very crucified baby, a baby that was born with a deformed kidney. God gave the boy a new organ. The mother called on Tuesday. He went to the hospital. God had given the boy a brand new kidney. I want you to pray again. Father, they say, Father, give me a new beginning. Do a new thing in my life. If I need a new organ, give me a new organ. And if you know somebody that you know that you don't need a new organ, touch it for that person. Under this grace and and you know anointing. Jaka sekera bobo. Seke sekera keke sekera baba. Ese kera go go so kora baba. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are blessed. I was able to get some handkerchief for Daddy G when I traveled to Nigeria, which he has blessed. So please take only one. Don't take for your spouse so that when you follow divine instructions, it shall work for you. Take only what? One. Ministers, can you just go around and ask you the ushers? Let's do it within a minute. Then, I, then we now use you to pray. Bubu aye beji suga angeli ewo lefu emu ade oba rewa she loba awo oba. Bubu aye beji suga angeli ewo lefu emu ade. Oh, my. 
we all have now? Do we all have? If we don't have, can you shout hallelujah? People there, uh, Pastor, Pastor Runke, you and somebody should go and give the adults in the, in the teens church, uh, in the children's church. The things are here. So if you all have now, can you say amen? amen. Some people don't have here. We have enough. We should, we should have excess safe. Some people don't have here. Please just give the adults in the children's church. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let him just prostrate for let just prostrate for bring forth the Lord. Okay, we don't have enough. Okay, like you need like how many more? If you don't have, just just you know, wave your hand. We just count you. One, who again? Only one person. Who again? Two, three. Just three of you. Eh? Just three of you or four. Okay, Pastor Tokwe, go to my drawer. Bring a pack there. All hail. The power of Jesus' name. Let him just prostrate for Let him just prostrate for Bring forth the royal diadem.
Pastor Aaron, are, are we good now? Are we good? Okay. So let's put it on our head. Can we say thank you, Daddy Gio? Yes. God will bless Daddy Gio. His anointing will not run dry. Jeremiah 17, 14. Open it. You know, when you pray the word of God, the word of God is spirit and life. Jeremiah 17, 14. You can please project it for us. And then you put it on your head. Oh, you have only one, sir. No, no, pick. Look for one for them. Eh? Look for additional one for them. Eh? No, just let's, let's just, I said one for each person. So if you could have one. I will say, put, put it on your head and say, heal me, O Lord, Lord. And I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Please, our guest minister needs one. Pastor, our guest minister, Pastor Wisdom needs one. Please, get him one. Let's say, my father and my God, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Pray with all your heart, believing God. The anointing of God is resting on you. That God will heal you from your crown to the sole of your feet. Father, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, O Lord, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Father, heal me, heal me, O Lord. Father, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, O Lord, and I shall be saved. Shake it, say, say, Rika Bobo, a KKK say, Kera Bobo Bobo, Ya, 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 say, Kera de 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 de. Moko say, Kera de de, say, Kera de de. Oko so Kura Baba, say, Kera Bobo, Oko say, Kera de de. Father, heal me, heal me. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. It's Kera Bobo 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 Bobo. It's a Kera de de, say, Kera de de. It's Kera Bobo Bobo, so Kura Baba, a K say, Kera de 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 de. So Korea Baba Sentera Baby Shake it, say Kera de De. Father, heal us, heal us from our crown to the sole of our feet. Father, heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Jeremiah 30 17, still praying about healing. Jeremiah 30 17 says, Can we please project it for us? For I will restore earth unto thee. And that we eat thee of thy own, said the Lord. That is what we need there. Say, my father, my God. You say, I, I, I want you to pray with your mind. Let God see that you want to be healed. Pray with your mind. Say, my father and my God. Restore earth unto me. Heal me of all my wounds. In Jesus' name. Prayers. Ya, 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 se kera bobo. Maka se kera baba. Desire to be healed. Pray with your mind. Father, restore my earth. Heal me of every wound. Oh, restore my earth. Father, restore my earth. Heal me of every wound. Intercede for your children. Father, heal them. Restore their health. Heal them of every wound. Let grace and mercy sustain them. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Jeremiah 33, 6, still praying about our earth. Jeremiah 33, 6, can you please project that for us? Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring it earth and cure. I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And from today, you will eat your food with joy. You will sleep in peace. Say, my father, my God, I want you to desire to be healed like Bartimaeus. Say, my father, and my God, bring me earth and cure. Cure me. Reveal unto me the abundance of your peace and truth. Prayers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Father, bring me earth and cure. Lord, bring me earth and cure. Cure me, O Lord. Reveal unto me the abundance 
of your peace and truth. Bring me earth and cure. Yaka, Sekera Bobo, Uria Keke, Sekera Dede, Sekera Dada. Lord, bring me earth and cure. Lord, bring me earth and cure. Cure me, O Lord. Cure me, O Lord. I intercede for this, your people, and even those online. Father, those online get an handkerchief, put it on your head too. I anoint those handkerchief in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, Father, bring us earth and cure. Cure us. Father, reveal unto us the abundance of your peace and truth. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Stretch your hands towards the altar while I pray for you. You shall have testimonies. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, say a better amen. amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree healing for these your children, those here and those watching online, in the name of Jesus. Father, turn their situation around. Reverse the, the, reverse the irreversible, in the name of Jesus. Lord, every impossibility, turn them to possibilities. Give them a new beginning. Father, do a new thing. Let the barren conceive. Let the singles get married. Father, restore their health. Bring them earth and cure. Father, silence storms. Give them total and complete victory. Restore their health. Father, put the devil to shame. Let them love righteousness. Let them eat sin with a passion. In the name of Jesus. Father, fight all their battles. They will not be defeated in life. They will not be stranded in life. Send help to them on a daily basis. Whatever their children may be, I cover them with the blood of Jesus and their grandchildren. No evil will come near, no evil will come near your entire family. This year, you will be celebrated. God will turn your captivity. God will give you a new song. You will laugh again. You will sing a song of joy. You will dance a dance of joy. No more sorrow. No more grief. I decree you shall live till a good old age. Full of riches. Full of honor. In Jesus name. I have decreed. And the saints say three powerful amens. Amen. 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 And praise the name of the Lord. Put your hand on your head and begin to thank God for what God has done. Just bless him. Worship him, adore him. Father, we thank you for what you have done. We say, take all the glory, take all the honor. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Don't lose this handkerchief. When you get home, whether it's your spouse that is not here, put it on his head and pray. Use it to pray for, for your children. If you're a businessman, go to your office, use it to pray. My own will be in my Bible so that I will not be lost. There's any to leave the Bible. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's clap for the Lord. He has done great things. That shall be testimonies. Please have your seats. I won't take your time because we are going back in the evening and the evening ministry with Pastor Ibrahim Adeniji at 7 30. Amen. Let's prepare our tithes and our offerings. And those giving online, please follow all the directives.